Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain RC phase shift oscillator analysis. So this is the basic RC phase shift oscillator. Here three RC sections are used. Each RC section produces 60 degrees phase shift. So total phase shift produced by the feedback network is 180 degrees and further 180 degrees is provided by transistor amplifier. So total phase shift becomes 360 degrees. If we design properly, that means mod A beta is equal to 1, then it produces sustained oscillations. This is the basic theory of RC phase shift oscillator. Okay, but in this video, I will focus on how to derive the frequency of oscillation. Okay, so just observe this feedback network. So an amplifier, the output of this amplifier is connected to the input of feedback network. Again, the voltage drop across this resistor is the feedback voltage, which is nothing but the input voltage of transistor, input voltage of amplifier. Okay, so the output of amplifier is connected to the input of feedback network. So the voltage across collector resistance also uh, infl is applied to the is applied to the input of feedback network. That's why RC impact also there. So we need to consider RC effect also. That means collector resistance effect is also there. So we have to draw the equivalent circuit including this RC. So now I will draw the equivalent circuit. So feedback network. So there are three RC sections. So C and R. Again, another capacitor and another resistor again another capacitor and another resistor all are same values equal resistance values r r r here also c c c so we have to consider rc also collector resistance now the output voltage is applied to the connected to the input of feedback network. This is the simple equivalent circuit of a feedback network. Voltage drop across this resistor is the feedback voltage. Voltage drop across last section is the last RC section is the feedback voltage. Okay. This is the simple equivalent circuit. Now I1 current flows in this circuit. I2 current flows in this circuit, I3 current flows in this loop. Okay, right? So applying KVL to the loop 1, KVL to the loop 1, loop 1. So I1 into RC plus I1 into XC plus here I1 and I2 can flow through this resistor. Therefore, I1 minus I2 into R is equal to P0. By simplifying this equation, by taking I1 common, I1 into RC plus here also I1 is there. So, R plus XC minus I2 into R is equal to B naught. So this is the equation number one. So this is the equation number one. Now applying KVL to second loop. This is the second loop. KVL to loop two. So loop two. KVL. So I2 into XC plus this I2 and I3 can flows in this resistance. So I2 minus I3 into R plus I2 minus I1 into R. Net current I2 minus I1 into R is equal to 0. Both I1 and I2 can flows in this resistance. So I2 minus I1 into R is equal to 0. So for simplified, we will get minus I1 into R and I2 is taken common, we will get R plus R, 2R plus XC and minus I3 into R 
is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. Now, applying KVL to loop 3. So, I will read out the loop 3. This is capacitance. This is one more resistance. Here also one more resistance is there. So, this is capacitance. So, this is loop 3. So, this is resistor R, resistor R. So, here I3 current flows. So, I3 current flows. In loop 2, I2 current flows. Okay. So, applying KVL to loop 3. KVL to loop 3. So, I3 into Xc plus I3 into R plus I3 minus I2 into R is equal to 0. So, by rearranging this equation, we we'll get minus I2 into R plus I3 is taken down, we will get 2R plus Xc is equal to 0. This is equation number 3. Equation number 3. So, I will write all these equations once again and convert it into the matrix form. So, the equation number 1, equation number 1, just observe the equation number 1. So, I1 into Rc plus R into Xc minus I2 into R is equal to V0. So, equation number 1, I1 into Rc plus R plus Xc minus I2 into R is equal to V0. Now, coming to the equation number 2. Equation number 2 is, this one is equation number 2. Minus I1 into R plus I2 into 2R plus Xc minus I3 into R is equal to 0. So, equation number 2 minus I1 into R plus I2 into 2R plus Xc minus I3 into R is equal to 0. Now, coming to the equation number 3. This is equation number 3. Minus I2 into R plus I3 into 2R plus Xc is equal to 0. Minus I2 into R plus I3 into 2R plus Xc is equal to 0. So, I will convert all these equations into the matrix form. So, all these equations into the matrix form. So, R plus R, sorry, Rc plus R plus Xc. And again, I want component in the second equation minus R. So, 0. Again, I2 component minus r so 2r plus x 2r plus x and minus r minus r i3 there is no i3 component in equation number one zero minus r and 2r plus x okay so into i so, I will write this matrix in this side. Rc plus R plus Xc minus R 0 minus R to R plus Xc minus R 0 minus R to R plus Xc into I1 plus, oh sorry, into I1, I2, I3 is equal to is equal to this values v not 0 0 v not 0 0 so simple process ipadavarku applying kvl to the three loops okay and we'll get some equations that equations are converted into the matrix form okay just observe the circuit diagram of rc phase shift oscillator so this is the circuit diagram of rc phase shift oscillator so, I3 is very important. I3 into R is equal to Vf, feedback voltage. Okay. Same I3 is given to the, same I3 is applied to the base current. Okay. This point is very, very important. So, how to calculate I3? So, according to the Cromer's rule, how to calculate I3? So, debt of 
some matrix related i3 and overall debt debt of overall matrix so how to form this matrix the basic matrix is rc plus r plus xc minus r instead of i3 in this column substitute v not okay next this is zero oh sorry this is minus r 2 r plus xc instead of minus r simply substitute zero and third one third one is this one zero this is minus r this is minus r this is zero instead of i3 simply substitute v not 0 0 this is the overall matrix this is the overall matrix so in this column simply in this column in this column substitute this values v not 0 0 okay right so divided by divided by overall matrix overall matrix divided by overall matrix original matrix overall matrix okay so first we have to find the debt of this matrix okay so how to find debt so rc into r oh sorry rc plus r plus xc so omit this column and this row 2r plus x into 0 And zero into two R plus X C. So zero into anything is equal to zero. So overall value is zero. Next minus of minus plus R and omit this column and this row. Minus R into zero is equal to zero minus zero into zero zero. So that is also zero. So finally this value V not V not into omit this column and this row so v not into v not into minus r into minus r so that is equal to r square minus 2 r plus x into 0 that is equal to 0 so overall value is v not into r square divided by debt of overall matrix debt of overall matrix overall matrix so how to find debt of overall matrix this is very very important portion of this derivation so overall matrix rc plus r plus xc minus r v not sorry zero so minus r 2r plus xc minus r Zero minus r to r plus x. Now we have to find the debt of this matrix. Debt of this matrix. So r c plus r plus x c into. So omit omit this column and this row. Two r plus x c whole square minus r into r minus r square. So 2r plus xc whole square minus r square. Okay. Next, minus of minus plus r, this one, and omit this column and this row. Minus r into 2r plus xc minus r into 2r plus xc. 2r plus xc. Okay. So zero into anything is equal to zero. This is the overall debt debt of overall matrix. So further simplification: R C plus R plus X C. Two R plus X C whole square. Two R plus X C. So this is two R plus X C whole square. So A plus B whole square. So two R plus X C whole square. Four R square plus X C square. Plus two a b ten two into two r into x c four r x c within the bracket there is a r square okay plus again minus r into two r minus two r square into r so that is equal to minus two r q 
again this minus r into xc minus r xc into r so minus xc r square minus xc r square okay again further simplification so multiplied with rc okay so here 4 r square is there and minus r square is there simply 4 r square minus r square is equal to 3 r square so now this r square is this r square is negative why because 4 r square minus r square is equal to 3 r square okay now this is 3 r square so simply put this 3 r square 3 r square so rc into 3 r square 3 r square rc plus rc into xc square rc xc square plus rc into 4 r xc square 4 r rc xc plus next multiplication with r r into 3 r square 3 r cube plus r into x square or x square plus r into 4 or x c so that is equal to 4 r square x c next multiplication with x c x c into 3 r square 3 r square x c x c into x square x c cube x c into 4 or x c 4 or x c square minus 2 or cube minus x c r square so further simplification further simplification okay further simplification so here 3 r square r c 3 r square r c is there okay and r c x c square also there so r c x c square is also there and 4 r r c x is there so this is 3 r cube minus 2 r cube so that is equal to r cube for the simplification r cube and r x c square and r x c square again x c square tends or x c square 4 r x c square so r x c square and 4 r x c square that is equal to 5 r x c square okay 4 r square x c plus 3 r square x c 7 r square x c minus x c r square r square x c that is equal to 6 r square x c and x c cube these are the simplifications so the final debt value final debt value is equal to 3 r square r c plus all rc terms are there and rc terms one time we may simplify above and rc x square rc x square rc x square plus 4 r rc x c 4 r rc x c okay so 4 r r c x c okay next next this one r q plus 5 r x c square r q r q plus 5 r x c square plus 5 r x c square plus 6 r square x c plus x c q 6 r square xc plus xc cube xc cube this is the overall debt overall debt okay now how to find i3 so i3 is equal to i3 is equal to v naught by r square debt of matrix and debt of overall matrix so 3 r square rc plus rc xc square x square plus 4 r r c x c plus r q plus 5 r x c square plus 6 r square x c plus x c cube x c cube 
okay so here just observe this is the output voltage v naught so output voltage is equal to output current into output resistance so instead of v naught i will represent this v naught this v naught in terms of h parameters in terms of h parameters so e v naught place low nen entante h parameters ne use chesi rasnan e v naught value so ante em chestunnanu ante v naught place low just e v naught ni nenu cross chesestunnanu v naught chesestunnanu v naught thesis em chestunnanu ante e term denominate uh, sorry numerator term antaku kuda em chestunnanu ante v naught is equal to h f e into i b base current okay so hf into ib is equal to collector current into collector resistance that is equal to output voltage so original r square is there that's why here r square so just me ikkada ardham cheskondi nenu em chestanu ante output voltage ni v not ni ela rasaanu ante v not is equal to just a blue color tho rasthunnanu v not ni ela rasthunnanu ante hf into ib so hf into ib is equal to collector current ic into collector resistance r so adi nenu ikkada rasi okay so ipudu next step lo nenu em chestanu ante this i3 by ib ante ikkada ee ib ni nenu ikkada teesestunna i3 by ib ni nenu em chestanu ante i3 by ib find out chestanu i3 by ib is equal to what is i3 by ib just observe the circuit diagram so this is i3 current okay same current flows in the base so i3 by ib is equal to simply 1 both are equal so i3 by ib is equal to simply 1 so that 1 is equal to the e ib ne ikkada teesukochu same em vastundi manaki ippudu h f e into r c r square by overall matrix overall matrix 3 r square r c plus r c x square plus 4 r r c x c plus r q plus 5 r x c square plus 6 r square x c plus x c q so next simple cross multiplication simple cross multiplication this is the simple cross multiplication we we'll get one equation okay so that is equal to again 3 or 3 r square or c simple cross multiplication plus 4 r r c x c just observe this cross multiplication 4 r r c x c plus r c x square plus r c x square plus r c x square plus r q plus r q plus r q plus 5 r x square 5 r x square 5 r x square plus 6 r square x c plus x c whole q x c whole q x c whole q is equal to h f e into r c into r square so i will rewrite this equation so is equal to h f e into r c into r square r c into r square so so ikkada nenu em chestunnanu ante simple ga is equal to this then minus chestunnanu okay so minus s obviously this is one is equal to obviously this one equal to zero this one is equal to zero okay just identify the imaginary terms okay equating the imaginary terms equal to zero will get the frequency there is no chance of getting imaginary term here there is no x so there there is a chance so 4 r r c instead of x c i will substitute j divided by omega c sorry minus j divided by omega c 
So maybe this is also x component. So you have to consider this one also. Also rc into minus j divided by omega c whole square x square. There is no question of imaginary component in rq plus 5 into r again instead of x square here minus j divided by omega c whole square plus 6 r square instead of this x i will substitute minus j divided by omega c okay plus x c cube my Mi minus j divided by omega c whole cube whole cube this is plus plus minus j divided by omega c whole q okay this is plus and the plus plus okay so the plus and the okay right then further goes uh, simplify just a muslim name further simplification 4 r so minus j 4 r r c divided by omega c plus minus j square minus square plus j square minus so we we'll get minus j square is equal to minus 1 minus whole square is equal to plus so minus r c divided by omega c plus minus j square j square is equal to minus 1 so minus square is equal to plus so again this is also minus 5 r divided by omega c plus 6 r square minus j divided by omega c plus minus j by omega c whole cube so minus j divided by omega c cube so omega c omega cube and c cube minus j whole cube so minus cube is equal to minus and j cube is equal to j square into z that means minus 1 into j so minus j so minus of minus it becomes the plus j q plus j okay so what are the imaginary terms that means the terms related to the associated with j com so this is the imaginary term this is the imaginary term this is also imaginary term this is also imaginary term this is also imaginary term equating these terms equal to zero so equating these terms that means j divided by j divided by omega c, omega c whole q okay next term and the term minus j 6r square by omega c minus j 6r by omega c that is the next term sorry minus j 6 r square minus j 6 r square so another term another term minus j 4 r r c by omega c minus j 4 r r c by omega c is equal to 0 so j divided by omega c cube omega c cube is equal to j 6 r square by omega c plus j 4 r r c by omega c so taking common j common this take down so j by omega c common this at j divided by omega c common this time which monkey kra 6 r square plus 4 r r c is equal to j divided by omega c q so omega c whole q just i will write this equation on the j divided by 
omega c whole cube is equal to j divided by omega c into omega c into 6 r square plus 4 r r c 6 r square plus 4 r r c okay so here j and j cancel will get 1 omega c and omega c cube so 1 divided by omega c whole square is equal to is equal to here r square is taken common we'll get 6 plus 4 rc by r so that is equal to 1 by omega square into c square is equal to r square into 6 plus 4k where k is the k is equal to constant rc by r so by simplifying we will get omega square is equal to 1 divided by r square c square into 6 plus 4k so obviously omega is equal to so obviously omega is equal to 1 divided by square root of r square c square 6 plus 4k so therefore omega is equal to 1 by rc into square root of 6 plus 4k so omega is equal to 2 pi f substitute the value for now 2 pi f is equal to 1 divided by rc into root of 6 plus 4k so therefore f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc square root of 6 plus 4k so this is the frequency of oscillation in rc phase shift oscillator using bc so i hope everyone will understand okay thank you